Hey guys, welcome back to Oka Bone. If you've been following us for a while, then you know that we've been wanting to increase our off-grid capabilities for a long time. So when Tugo reached out to us and asked us to review their power station and their solar panel, we were pretty darn excited. So this is a sponsored review, but as always, we wouldn't share anything with you guys that we weren't personally excited about ourselves. I'm a pretty big newbie to kind of solar power and electricity in general. So I'm gonna go over this with you guys in kind of the most basic layout Damon's terms. Hopefully that makes it easier for people to understand who are more like me. I'm looking for something that's easy to use, something that's dependable, something that is going to serve the functions that I need it to serve, and really something that is going to be easy for me to understand. But for everybody else out there who is just kind of looking to increase off-grid capabilities, kind of dabble in solar power a little bit, hopefully the language I use will be easy enough for you to understand. So the basics of the system, there is a power station and then there is a solar panel. The solar panel is the one that draws the energy from the sun, it converts the power, and then it stores it in a form that kind of your typical like outlets and whatever you're charging can use in this portable power station. So this is the power Pioneer 500 power station and the key takeaways are that it has a DC input of 12 to 28 volts and a 461 watt hour capacity. Now if you're anything like me, you're already kind of lost. So let me explain it a little bit. Before I go too much into the real life application of this system, I'll just go over the basics. So there are ports for DC, USB, and AC. So if you're new to the terminology like I am, that just kind of means your regular standard outlets that you would find on most American houses. And there's also a 12 to 28 volt input so that you can also charge it from something other than your solar panel if you wanted to charge it from say the power in your house to get it charged a little bit faster. It should go without saying since we're sharing it with you guys, but we did really like the quality of this system. It's not light and flimsy. Everything moves really well and it feels nice and substantial without being heavy or bulky, if that makes sense. There are a couple extra flashlights, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, the system is really made to be picked up and moved around as it needs to be. It doesn't have to be put in one spot and left there. Another feature I really liked about this system is that it gives real-time updates, so obviously how charged the battery is, but also it'll tell you exactly how much power you're using with whatever device you're using, and it'll kind of give an estimation on how long you would be able to keep that up based on how much energy is in the station in the first place. This is the solar panel. It actually folds up into this nifty kind of carry case here. So it's really easy to pop open and set up. Again, I love this system for newbies like me. It has very clear and easy to understand instructions. So carrying it is easy and then setting it up is quick and easy as well. You can actually plug in devices like your cell phone directly into the solar panel. So if you don't have the station handy, that can work really well too. Just like the power station, we were really impressed with the quality of the materials. If you guys look, there's no fraying. The stitching is all nice and tight. Everything looks to be put together really well. And they even thought of adding a pocket so it's easy to bring along the cords that you need. We are primarily gonna be keeping this power station as kind of an emergency power source. So for example, the other day we had a really bad windstorm blow through here in the Midwest. That was about a week, two weeks ago, I think. And this is something that we were really grateful to have charged and also have a solar panel to go with it because based on some of the storms that have hit the Midwest, especially recently, when things get really bad, public power is definitely not something that we can count on. So we'd always had those kind of mini power stations for like just charging our cell phone but this is gonna be a lot more useful for other things as well. In an emergency situation, we would use this to charge radios, for example. We're trying to increase our radio capabilities and that does require electricity. So we would use this to charge radios, charging like lights and flashlights. This one has a built-in flashlight. It's pretty cool. Probably not necessarily ones that we would use to like get from point A to point B because it's a little bit large to be used primarily as a flashlight. You can definitely see how that would come in handy. It's kind of a cool additional feature. Probably the main thing we would use this particular power station for is 
using it as emergency backup for our freezer. There are so many different factors with the weather to determine how long it takes to get this system to a full charge using a solar panel. Season and the direction of the sun, obviously the time of year, whether there's snow on the ground or not, would definitely increase the amount of time if it were like a really bad situation where we were looking at weeks with the power grid down. That actually happened just this summer and we're in like a major metropolitan area we had tons and tons of businesses that could not even be open because the power grid was down in a very populated area for weeks on end. So something that is definitely really useful for us to have. So that's kind of the main reason that we're really grateful to have this system. It's just kind of another tool in our arsenal. But that being said, it's probably gonna be really useful, especially this summer when we're working on our house. Since we are building a house from scratch, there's not gonna be any power out there for quite a while. So as far as charging power tool batteries and that kind of thing, that's also another really good use for this power station because we could otherwise have to buy a ton of batteries, make sure they're all charged, and then bring them all the way out in order to have a good full day's work on the house. So instead, the power station will help us have some power out there without having to drag a ton of equipment out there or have a loud, annoying generator running or anything like that. Okay, so now that I've talked about the power station a bit, I'm going to grab the solar panel and we'll go over that a little bit too. This is the 120 volt solar panel. So as you guys can see, this thing is huge. I don't know if I can get it all on camera. It's kind of one of those things where there are obviously larger solar panels than this and there are smaller ones. So far we've found this setup to be really easy. It takes about one minute. Uh, we have charged it kind of a few different types of weather. So right now it's winter in Wisconsin. Obviously not the best time to try and use solar power. So depending on the weather, when it was sunny in Wisconsin, I'm sure during the summer it'll be more than this, we were getting about 80 watts in the sun. And then when it's overcast, we were getting closer to like 20 watts. But like I said, the solar panel is mainly just for hooking up to the power station so that you can either run things off of the power station while it's charging. One other thing that we really liked about the Balder power station is that if you live in a climate like us, sun is not always easy to come by. So especially if you wanna have power for emergency capabilities outside of a generator, you can also just charge the power station with like a regular cord that you would plug into the wall. It does charge a lot faster that way. So if we are seeing like a nasty storm roll in and if we've dropped the ball on charging this thing with the solar panel, then we can just plug it into the wall. So that kind of summarizes the Balder power system that Tugo sent us. Again, this review is sponsored. We are totally transparent about our partnerships, but of course we never share any of the products that we get with you guys that we're not happy with. And we were very impressed with the quality of this system as soon as we got it and it has been functioning really well. I'm kind of an all or nothing personality, so sometimes I feel like if I wanna go off grid, I have to like buy a house and make it 100% solar and it doesn't count or something if I don't do that, which is totally not the case. We have been able to learn so much about solar. We definitely watch like a lot of YouTube videos and stuff about solar, but it's just completely different getting your hands on the product using the product outside, getting in a system and a reliable schedule for charging emergency power like this, and more than anything, just getting to know how solar will function in your exact climate, and not just climate, but your exact property. We definitely recommend this system as far as a good quality system that has a very simple learning curve. We would love if you would use our discount code. I'll put the discount code below, and of course, I will link this system in the description box for you as well, but you guys can use our discount code for a discount on this exact system. And I would love to hear from you guys, especially if you are more familiar with solar than I am. I would love to hear from you guys how you are using solar. So please leave a comment below with how you like to use your solar capabilities, whether it's as emergency or daily use. We can kind of add all those ideas to our repertoire as well. Thanks again for joining us on our crazy journey to work towards self-sustainability. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will also link our Instagram podcast and our website for you in the description box below.